guys, welcome back to our channel, Breaking Broader Farm. This is Lauren here again. Today we're going to talk about why it's important to trim your zucchini and squash beds. As you can see, I've got lots of leaves. If you were a bee, it would be hard to see these flowers. So we'll talk about why that's important. So you really want to trim your zucchini and squash beds um, because like I showed you earlier, it's hard for the bees to see the flowers. They can't pollinate. So therefore you won't get as much fruit. Also, all of your energy is going up to creating these leaves and not so much is going to making your fruit or your vegetables in this case. So that's why it's important to prune your vegetables. It's not going to kill your vegetables by pruning them. It's just going to help promote more growth. Um, and you also want the wind to be able to go through here and the water to not set on them so you don't get blossom end rot or blight or any other kind of fungus that will set on your plants. We just got two new fosters. If you saw our Instagram page, then you know. This is one of them. Um, he just snuck under the garden fence. I guess he wanted to help. He's as sweet as he can be. Oh. Hey, Forrest. What are you doing? Okay, so I've done two plants. Um, you can see it's a lot thinner, it's easier to see your flowers. What I did was I just went in and any branches that were crossing over to another plant, like this one right here is, you can see it crosses the plane. I just go down. So now I'll do it to the rest of the plants. Do they make good toys? You like playing with the leaves? Yeah, you can tear up those leaves. Just not the leaves in my bed, okay? So, you can see, because they were so thick, some of these leaves were more yellow than others. They weren't getting as much of the chlorophyll. This one here, I said to the side. You can see it's already starting to get spotty. So, it's much thinner. Could probably use maybe a little bit more, but I don't want to overdo it and stress out the plants. These ones right here are getting close to being gone. But as you can see, we've got all sorts of things about ready to be picked, growing, so exciting. You can see here where we've cut some large ones off and we've got a zucchini. So for those of you who didn't know and haven't gardened before, your fruit always comes behind your flower. So I also added this trellis to our cucumbers, took them off of the poles, um, just took some of our extra fencing that we used, about eight feet, curled it in half, 
and stuck the ends of the fence like this into the ground. Hey there, so so. Pardon our makeshift gate for the moment. All of the money is going towards our little boy's birthday party. So as you can see, we've got some cucumber blooms, so we've got some cucumbers coming soon, which is very exciting. Right, so that does it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can follow our homesteading journey. Next week, I believe we will be cutting our peppers and then we'll update you on our homestead tour for spring 2019. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.